Cadence of Conflict, Asia, October 7, 2019. Hong Kong has declared independence. On Friday, October 4, thousands peacefully gathered in Ma On Shan at New Hong Kong City Center and read aloud a manifesto. This manifesto included basic arguments similar to the U.S. Declaration of Independence, along with basic steps for a provisional government until the new government takes over. In the eyes of China, this will be treason, just as the U.S. Declaration of Independence was treason in the eyes of Britain. There has been no bigger news in almost 200 years. No nation has stood up to a world superpower so great since the American colonies defied the world-dominating British Empire in 1776. Suspiciously, mainstream news agencies were utterly silent about this all weekend. The next question is whether Hong Kong will be able to resist China's military. That question can only be answered by historians who have studied asymmetric warfare, such as the First War of Scottish Independence in 1270, the American Revolutionary War of 1775, or Vietnam's August Revolution of 1945. Britain would be wise to help because that might allow the Crown to hold Hong Kong among the Commonwealth afterward. The UN is calling for an investigation into how China has handled the four months of protest, so it would seem that the world is on Hong Kong's side, but investigations always follow long after a crime, even against human rights, while the people are left to defend themselves until help arrives. Can Hong Kong join the successful revolutionaries of history? The string of anti-extradition protests began March 31 this year, 190 days ago. The protests have been in a state of ongoing outbreak since June 9. Hong Kongers have lived and fought in unrest in their own home for 120 days straight. They have overpowered a 30,000 troop police force the entire time. Hong Kongers have thus become formidable and battle-tested with inferior weaponry. The impossible odds, fighting with bamboo sticks against guns, make the typical Jackie Chan movie prophetic. If China's PLA soldiers think they will have an easy time suppressing Hong Kong, they have news in store. It's not impossible, only history will tell. Unrest turned to turmoil on October 2 when China held its 70th anniversary parade for the Communist Party. America will soon join Hong Kong's objection to China in its own way. In Beijing, showing off the old news well-known DF-41 hypersonic can hit America in 30 minutes, 10 nuke warhead missiles, was a miscalculation. America is not afraid because we don't expose the limits of our tech in parades. Most of our most advanced military tech isn't known to the general public, which is somewhat how the American people want it to be, kind of. Seeing this flagrant open threat will motivate the inventors and businesses in the wealthier, higher tech America to neutralize China's open threats ASAP. Some are calling it a Sputnik moment. China is a nation that thinks itself to be stronger than it actually is. If it rises to even a quarter of the world domination it hopes, it would be the first time a superpower rose from a nation so ancient. Since Persia, all world superpowers of history rose from new nations built on the encouragement of new ideas, legal limits of government, and rights for citizens. China is not on a quest to defy the world. It is on a quest to defy history. Hong Kong has history on its side, and that is the cadence of the conflict already seen in the Pacific.